Hey guys, how's it going? This is Andrew here with Advanced PCs uh, to another uh, video. Uh, this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to get started with Go to My PC. Um, Go to My PC is uh, one of the more well-known um, remote utility. I still use it. I have some of my clients that still uses it. Um, it was also like, you know, during the pandemic, uh, it was one of those like um, high requests. Hey, what can I use to remote into my office? kind of a deal so um, let me just jump right in um, so it was a it was a request you know this is this is one of the software that I recommend uh, so let me just jump right in and show you guys how to get started so you essentially would want to go out to go to my pc.com um, if you have not created a, if you don't have an account yet um, you can just go ahead and uh, you can buy it now um, and you can do personal or pro depending on you know what what package you want to uh, go with um, here for the personal one it's thirty five dollars per computer per month um, but if you purchase it if you did an annual purchase you save twenty percent on an annual purchase which is good right so however um, uh, the amount is going to be for the entire year that you're going to pay for it you end up saving you know twenty percent uh, that's good you save money up front that way but uh with the monthly um you know approach or payment you get the flexibility of you can cancel at any time uh the also the other cool thing is um you can try you can, you can give it a try so if you want to try it instead of buy it you could do that okay so um what i've done is i've created a a temporary account for myself so uh once you have created an account it's pretty simple by the way if you want to just you know purchase it and uh, uh, go through the process of paying for the product no problems if you if you want to try it out that's no problems as well so let me just go ahead on and put my email in okay so whatever email address you registered with that's what you want to put in and uh, I have so many passwords Okay, so this is setting it up for the first time. Okay, so my login information. Oh, my email was not correct. Okay. All right, so setting it up for the first time, um, what you what you want to do here is uh, add this computer. Okay, so so the computer that you're on, if that's the computer that you want to remote into from a uh, remote location then this is the one that you want to install go to my PC um, on if not then what you want to do is you want to log in on the computer so you want to go to that computer that you want to um, log into or remote into okay so for demonstration purposes I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, install it here on this computer okay and uh, alright so So we're gonna install go to my PC. So it's gonna and I'm I'm doing this in Chrome. Google Chrome. Okay, hit the uh, yes when it gives you the prompt. It's pretty simple. Installation status. Should go by pretty fast okay so in this case uh, you can restart later on so just say next continue because you just want to get started with the process okay so that same information your login credentials you want to log in here okay So in this case, um, once you once you accepted your login credentials, you want to put in your the uh, computer nickname. So in this case, uh, I'll just leave it at Drew PC. <clears throat> okay.
Okay, um, this is also the other step that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, once you've created the, the computer, you, you've named it whatever you want to name it, um, then you want to uh, give a access code. Okay. All right, so uh, it must be eight characters long, and it has to have uh, include both letters and numbers. I didn't see that part right there where it says letters and numbers. All right, so once you've created that, hit next. Okay, I'll click on finish. All righty, and that's pretty much how you can get started here. So I wanted to show you guys this process of actually installing it, um, you know, setting it up for the first time and, and, and actually installing it. Uh, you noticed I named the PC what it was. Uh, I'm gonna actually install it on another computer so I can record it here and show you guys um, how it's done. Uh, how do you connect to it, okay? So in your system tray, this is how it runs. The engine is right here, so it runs. Um, you see the go to my PC um, icon in the system tray, okay? That's how you know it's running. <clears throat> and you essentially want to have that run uh, like all the time, okay? 24 hours, 24 seven. All right, so let me pause here. And once I have it installed on my other computer, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll pick up from there. Hey guys, okay, all right, so let's jump right back into where we left off um, with uh, go to my PC. All right, so what I did was I installed the same, uh, I installed go to my PC on my laptop that's sitting here on my desk. And what we're going to do is uh, essentially do the login. Uh, okay, now. Once you're logged in and you've uh, and you have properly installed the uh, go to my PC on the computer, so in this case it's my laptop. Uh, essentially, what you what you would see here every time you log in to go to my PC, you will notice your computer here, the remote computer. Okay. Uh, essentially, you just click connect, and just like I showed you earlier, uh, okay, open the go to opener. Uh, what it's going to do, it's going to attempt to connect remotely to that machine and it should prompt you for your access code that you have created. Okay, allow access. If you get this prompt, just say yes, allow access. And there you go. You should uh, get this prompt right here. Okay. If you're not getting this prompt and it keeps cycling through to saying connecting to the host computer, then most likely that computer probably went into, um, you know, safe mode or I'm sorry, not safe mode. It probably went into hibernation mode or sleep mode or something. Uh, so you need to go into the power settings uh, on that computer to ensure that the computer stays on all the time. Okay. So in this case. And. Just like that, we're connected. Okay, say okay to this message. And uh, so we're here on the laptop and that's really all there is to it. Uh, now you have access to that computer, no problems. Uh, you could work as if you were uh, right there in front of the computer remotely, okay? You can uh, maximize the screen here. Uh, so it takes up your, your screen that you're working from, okay? So, um, and once you're done, all you do is just click the, if you wanna maybe restore this to a smaller size window, or just hit the X button, and it'll say, hey, confirm your disconnect from go to my PC. You, says, you say yes, disconnect, and protect your host. Your host is completely protected from modern cyber threats. Okay, click to install to protect. Okay, this is something extra that they wanna um, uh, give to you, which you don't have to accept. Uh, but that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Go to my PC. Like I said, it's pretty, um, you know, it's uh, powerful. It's one of the older ones uh, that's been around as far as remote remote uh, utilities. It's been around for quite a while. Uh, they recently got um, 
uh, bought out by Log Me In, which is a major competitor. So it's all under the umbrella of, of, uh, of Log Me In, but they still maintained the brand Go to My PC. So uh, it's still relevant. It's still very useful, and I recommend it, you know, to a lot of my clients because it's just so easy to, to to use and it still works. Okay. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, uh, please uh, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Also, next time, guys, take care of yourself.